Hello, welcome back to See the Story. So they spoke to a songstress and also enjoying her beautiful deep voice. Now it's time for See the Cooking segment. Yes, Yay. finally. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> of course, everybody's waiting for some free meal. Okay, today we are going to make something that I brought home from my trip. So recently I went to Taiwan. Okay. So I went to Taiwan and uh, of course, as usual, I explored um, all the delicacies over there. And one of the uh, one of the things that I really like when it comes to food over there is the breakfast. The breakfast? The breakfast. So one of the breakfasts uh, which are famous yeah. um, in, in Taiwan called Fan Tuan. So Fan Tuan is basically, uh, Fan is uh, rice. Fun is rice. Fun okay. is rice. So fun to one is um, a, a sticky uh, rice roll. So oh. this recipe might be good for your Sunday breakfast idea because this is very simple. Uh, it's you only need to prepare uh, everything ahead of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and um, at that time uh, of you want to eat, you just need to roll or you can actually make this ahead of time. You store it because it, it, it should be wrapped in a plastic yeah. and then you store it, not in the fridge. Mm, let's say just room temperature yeah. and then just cut it and have it. So, so, so um, the people in Taiwan is quite similar to the ones here in Indonesia, they have a heavy breakfast? Yes, they have heavy breakfast. Oh. So not only Fan Tuan, later I will uh, introduce how they actually put uh, the breakfast on the table with everything um, on the side and stuff. So okay. for Fan Tuan, of course, um, like I told you, it's a sticky rice rolls. Okay. So we need um, uh, the, the glutinous sticky rice? rice, the glutinous rice. Okay. So the glutinous rice, you have to soak it for this. You have to soak it for two, uh, seven to 24 hours. And then after that, you steam it for only 20 minutes. Got it. Okay. So this is the end product of the sticky rice. So the glutinous rice. You soak it for 24 hours and steam it. Just steam it. You do not boil it. You do not parboil it. You steam, steam it for it. 20 minutes. Okay. And uh, for the insides, for the fillings of the rice rolls, we have omelette, just omelette, any kind of omelette. Okay. Beef floss or pork floss or fish floss or any, any floss that you like. And not, also, not dental floss? No, no, not, <laughs> not dental floss. Okay, so uh, we have this beef floss and also uh -huh. we have the Chinese fried dough or okay. uh, people might call it Chinese krula or whatever. We call it chak kue, chak -kue. in, chak -kue. in of course. Indonesia. Of course. And for the Chinese uh, fried dough, you fry it again. You refry it until it's crisp. Uh oh. So it oh. becomes crispy. This is not diet friendly. No, it's not. <laughs> it does look delicious though, no, that's for sure. And um, of course, there's another condiment that I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay. It is actually the uh, sauteed uh, preserved cabbage. I love oh. that. So this is a preserved cabbage. Mm -hmm. So you just need to. Okay, Messi, I need you to chop the stem of oh. the uh, preserved cabbage. Oh dear, okay. Um, can you do it? I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you can okay, do it. Okay, you can do it. Okay, so just, just the stem. Just the stem. So just the stem. Does that mean this way or does that mean this uh, way? That way. So I'm gonna show you. I uh, see. It's this way, okay. just the stem, not the leaves. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. You're welcome. Before we get that, how do, how exactly do you um. What do you call this cabbage? You reserve? Reserved cabbage. How, does, how do you make reserved cabbage? Uh, usually we don't make. Okay. We, we you buy. buy it in the I store. I see. Okay. We buy. Okay. Oh, this is already... No, that's cut. okay. Is that it? Mm, yeah, that, that should be it. it. Or right. here. Oh, you, yes. missed, you missed one. Oh, I do apologize for that. Okay. And I expect you to chop everything. Right. Got it. Yep. So like finally chop it. Not bad, Messi. Yep. You're doing great. Thanks very much. <laughs> like this? Oh uh, yes. This as well, yes, I do. All right. Yeah, you do go. it. You do it great. So um, the reason being is because we will stuff it inside the rice roll. So we need um, like a very fine chunk of it. So a very fine piece, fine slices, so that you want. Uh, you won't see. You will see. find it difficult when biting no, into it. No, exactly. Right? That's the thing about the preserved Because it's very fibery. How, how, how chopped do you need it to be? Is this like uh, chopped enough like or much fine. finer? Finer. Much finer, got it. Finer. Okay. So um, <laughs> for the omelette, you can actually make any, any kind of... Actually, it's not only omelette. If you like it like, I don't know, fried egg, 
you like um, sunny side up or whatever, you can actually use that. So um, basically, it's just uh, the rice, um, floss, the preserved cabbage, and also egg, any style of egg that you like. Okay, Messi, thank you so much for that. Yeah, no worries. And after this, we need to put it into the oil yeah. so that all the um, water content will be dried out. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is all we need? Oh, all of okay. it? I'm gonna uh, chop more. All right. So usually, it will be sold in a local breakfast place, okay. which also uh, sell soy milk, oh. uh, the yu tiao, or the Chinese fried dough, they call it yu tiao, mm -hmm. and also some other uh, traditional pastries. Sounds delicious. Yes. It does indeed. So into the preserved cabbage, we put Minced garlic. Minced garlic as well. So this is where uh, the the flavor of this fun one would actually be found. Mm -hmm. Because, well, the aromatics and also, um, you know, the, the taste from the seasoning, because we will season it with salt and sugar. Okay. It will be like a, like you will taste an umami flavor inside the roll. Cannot wait. Yeah. I've never tried this before. I've never heard of it. This is the first time. Okay, all right. we're cooking this until all the water evaporates. Yes. We want to get rid of the water content. And uh -huh. do you like it spicy? I, I do. do. Oh, wow. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we can put in. But not too spicy, okay? Okay, not too spicy. We can put we're in. Gonna, little we're gonna look pretty for the camera. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Spicy. That's true. <laughs> okay. Oh, that smells good. It does. Just that. Woo. Just half of the of the chili. I wish you can smell what we oh, smell right man. now, viewers. It is just. As soon wow. as the garlic touches the hot pan, bam. Ooh. Yep. And we are still waiting for the water content to be evaporated. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I have zero patience for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to open it and season. Because sometimes you have to season with your fingers so that you can, can, you can actually measure on how much would the, season, uh, the seasoning be uh, needed for one particular uh, recipe. Okay. So, so, so for... in, in Indonesia, we call this um... Sawi asin, or Sawi asin. literally translates as salty cabbage. Salty cabbage. However, we still need salt. Yes, it's right? actually to balance uh, the flavor. Oh. Okay, I put sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Ooh. Yep. So we have sweetness from the sugar. We have the saltiness. Mm -hmm. We have some tartness. Yes, from, from the, the cabbage. Fermentation process. Yes. What else? A spicy. Spicy. Every as flavor well. in one pan. Typical Asian. Yum, Typical yum. Asian. Okay. So for the omelet, I will slice it. I will halve it. Okay. Because this might be too big yeah. for one roll. Okay. So later, it will be easier for us to put it in a row. All right, so... Yeah, I think it's looking good. Ooh. No more water because we can no see that the oil, the oil separates all right, all right. from the cabbage already. You want to taste it? Uh, yes, but with some rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So is it balanced enough? Look at that. Mmm, hot. Mmm, sweet. Supposed it's to good? be sweet? Yeah, yeah. Good. It's supposed to be sweet. Is balance enough for you? Mm, I think one more chili would be great. One more chili. And or probably the rest of the chili. A little bit of salt. Okay. Okay, the rest of the chili. Because uh, the sweetness is really dominant right now. Mm -hmm. I think we need a little bit of uh, salt. Salt. Okay. Mm, okay, that's, that will be perfect. 
Okay. A little bit for the good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the salt over your shoulder. Make sure it dissolves. Okay, meanwhile, wow. okay. we can actually prepare for the roll. Oh. So how we will do it is with the, you know, the help of, what do you call it? A sushi, sushi roller? roll maker? Mm -hmm. Okay, a sushi roller. That's actually even much more simpler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, before you roll it, you want to um, prime it or you want to just put a layer of a cling wrap. Mm -hmm. So later, you will lay all of the uh, ingredients or all the aspects yeah, of this. Can. <laughs> I do this every yeah. day at Live it, home, live it so. to the mums. The mummy. Uh, uh, live it to the mums. So you want everything to be um, wrapped inside of the plastic well while you roll it. Okay. Here you go. Thank oh, there you so go. Much we got it. Oh, rice. Uh, okay. Thank you, mummy. <laughs> You're welcome, my son. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be right back with your daily dose of entertainment news on the last segment of the show. You don't want to miss that. Stay with us.